so my name is Michaela. I'm Ethan. Hi, my name is Travis. God has always been in my life. I, yeah, I found myself speaking upward. I found myself speaking to someone my whole life as a child, uh, but I never actually knew what that was. I was raised in a Christian household. I always was a self-proclaimed Christian, but never really um, took the time to learn and understand it. I had only gone for ch to church uh, through my early years of life. As the time grew on, I was growing into darker and darker things and didn't want to have my uh, life and my sins exposed. About at 14, I found myself getting to some bad things and it was about at 18. I... I was really angry and I was really lonely and I wanted to end my life. And about at 21, I just felt tired and dragged down and I kept asking myself, do I want to continue living this life or is there something more for me? And I remember looking up to the sky and I felt this something washed over me and I asked for help. I said, please help me. I cannot do this by myself. I cannot do this alone. Please help me. After that, uh, I profound, profound presence, profound energy. I found myself being carried to places where I needed to go to get better. I just believe that God has put seeds in my life to bring me back to Him. And Adam was one of those seeds. Eventually I landed myself with the job at KMS Tools with myself, Travis, and Michaela, and Adam. So I was not never really born into a church family, never went to church when I was a kid. It was more in my later years that the Lord made Himself known in my life. And when I hit rock bottom about five years ago, I asked myself, what do you believe in when there's nothing to believe in? And where do you go when nothing seems good? Which then I was delivered to a job where it led me to a man that most of you know as Sunrise, and his name's Adam. So hi, I'm Adam. Most of you probably know me or at least recognize me from playing drums. When I came to the workplace and I saw Adam, there was just some type of energy, some type of presence within him. Adam always talked about the Bible and that told me that I should come to church. And I was very hesitant at first and didn't really do so, always testing him, asking him things, and we joke about this one quite often, is how did Noah get penguins on the ark? Yeah, you could imagine being a Christian at work, probably 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm not fully awake. Your co-worker comes up and is like, hey, where did penguins come from on the ark? How did they get there? Kind of threw me a bit of a curveball, I'm not going to lie. But it was a great introduction to God, a great way to start sharing the gospel with Travis. And through the three of us working it grew that community for us to talk about God, for me to share my story of the gospel and what Jesus has done in my life. He started just, you know, bringing up some biblical things when we were technically connecting with music, and uh, so I started asking more and more questions, and at some point it came to um, my understanding that I just needed to read. And when it came to that, I actually started reading and I went, this is not what I remember <laughs> from here from everyone. After that, uh, I, I started really growing into it and I'm like, okay, um, let's you know get this going with uh, my friends here because I want to show them what this has brought to me, this peace that I've never felt before in my life. After a little bit of time, I, I realized it was time for a change. So in doing so, I started reading the Bible and I started to go to church and that change of bringing the Lord into my life was a good thing and I find myself with more patience and more of a calming nature to be able to handle things. Yeah. <laughs> At 28 years old, I am six years clean by the grace of God. You know, making this public declaration to God was just another important step in my life that God wants for me. We all do things, we all stumble, and we all fall. We've all really uh, suffered, and we all suffer together. But we can know that we have the love of Christ in us. Yeah. It was in sharing the gospel that 
I got to really test my faith and that was really cool too. And yeah, it's been a whirlwind. It's been exhausting at times, but it's been a real honor to be able to minister to these three individuals. Upon getting baptized, I found out that my grandmother was a Sunday school teacher. I was unable to meet her because she passed away um, when my mother was 18, so I was never able to meet her. But upon my baptism, I have obtained her Bible, which is very special to me. I'm truly excited to read the Bible and truly learn Jesus' story because I believe that's something that's been truly missing from my life that I'm very, very excited to endeavor on.